So recently, Chinese developer Ejoy released Area F2, a blatant Rainbow Six Siege ripoff. And when Ubisoft, the people who made Rainbow Six Siege, asked Apple and Google to take the game down from their digital storefronts, they both basically said, nah, we're good. So now Ubisoft is suing both Apple, Google, and the Chinese developer for copyright infringement. All right, guys, before we get into the story, the Score Esports has something new for you. Clouded, the show where we discuss Twitch drama and esports news, well, it's going live on Twitch. So now, every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, you can jump over to twitch.tv slash the Score Esports and watch me, Keith, Colin, and Dan break down the latest news and maybe talk some shit. So follow the channel and hit that notification button so you know when we go live. Okay, let's get back to the story. So back in November of 2019, Ejoy, a developer owned by the gigantic Chinese tech company Alibaba, created a YouTube channel for its upcoming game, Area 52. It was marketed as a close quarters battle first person shooter that would be available to play on mobile devices. The problem is, as you could probably tell from the trailer, is that it is so, so similar to Rainbow Six Siege in everything but its name. And when Ubisoft found out about this clone, naturally, they were pissed. Now, because Area F2 is being primarily marketed as a mobile game, Ubisoft went to both Apple and Google and said, hey, this is clearly copyright infringement. It would be great if you could take it down from your stores. And then according to Ubisoft, both Google and Apple said the equivalent of, nah, we're good, and continued to feature the game on their digital storefronts. To add salt to the wound, after Ubisoft asked Google to remove the game from its Google Play Store, Google straight up featured Area F2 on its home page. Talk about a digital middle finger. Now at this point, Ubisoft responded with their version of it's on motherfuckers and filed a lawsuit against Apple, Google, and Ejoy, the Chinese developer. And when I say Area F2 is Rainbow Six Siege with a different name, just check out these examples. Do you like playing on Bank in Siege? It's a pretty iconic map, right? Well, here's Russian Station from Area F2. For some reason, is Smoke your favorite operator in Siege? Well, check out my dude Swamp over here. Or maybe you love Capkin, all in his feelings with his hoodie up. Have you met his Area F2 brother, Wolf? It's the same for character select screens, weapon loadout menus. Hell, you board up doorways the exact same way as you do in Siege. And Ubisoft highlighted all of this in the lawsuit, noting that, quote, Virtually every aspect of AF2 is copied from R6S, from the operator selection screen to the final scoring screen and everything in between, end quote. And this is not some small game that's flying under the radar. According to Ubisoft, since Area F2 was released in March, it's been downloaded more than a million times. In the lawsuit, Ubisoft alleges that one of the main reasons Apple and Google didn't remove the game from its stores when they asked was because they were making a shit ton of money from it. Quote, Google and Apple profit directly from every game sold or in-app purchase made on their platform in the form of platform fees or service fees. According to public information, Ubisoft is informed and believes and on that basis alleges that approximately 30% of the revenue generated from each game sold on the Google Play Store or App Store or each in-app purchase made on the Google Play Store or App Store is retained by Google or Apple as a service fee. End quote. And here's the thing, because Area F2 is a free to play game, you have to pay to literally do anything. Want new characters, weapons, or maps? Get ready to pay up. And Ubisoft is alleging that although Apple and Google might not be making money off the sale of the game since it's free, they are definitely raking in cash off the in-game purchases. Now you might be thinking, well, maybe Apple and Google didn't know that Area F2 was a clone which Ubisoft actually addresses in the lawsuit. The lawsuit discusses that in order to have a game on one of these digital storefronts, you need to apply for and be granted a developer account, sign a standard developer agreement, and give Apple and Google just basically a bunch of your information. 
On top of that, the developer needs to select which territories the game will be distributed to. So Ubisoft is making the argument that at the very least, Apple and Google reviewed the game before they put it on their stores and possibly were aware that Area F2 is a blatant clone of Rainbow Six Siege. Throughout the lawsuit, Ubisoft cites the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, or DMCA, which is an acronym you might recognize if you've ever watched a Don't At Me where we talk about Twitch. And the lawsuit notes that in marketing the game, Ejoy, the Chinese developer, did nothing to separate Area F2 from Siege, even blatantly ignoring customer questions about whether or not the games were the same. My favorite example that Ubisoft highlights as potential copyright infringement is the promotional material, which looks like a five-year-old druid. And if you're wondering why Ubisoft didn't sue Ejoy directly and just leave Apple and Google out of it, well, apparently it's really difficult to sue for copyright infringement in China. So Ubisoft did the next best thing. All right, UAV, you throw down a little UAV, when you pick UAV up a phone. Deployed, your view will be switched to the UAV's camera. It's just Rainbow Six. Now, this is not the first time that a popular game has been ripped off and the developers have been sued for it. Back in August of 2009, Blizzard sued multiple companies over Glorious Saga, a PC and mobile game whose, quote, content is almost entirely copied from the Warcraft games and related products, end quote. Another example is back in 2015, when Valve and Blizzard sued two different developers for copyright infringement over Dota Legends and Heroes Charge, two mobile games that closely resembled the world and characters of Dota. And while we aren't going to jump down that rabbit hole right now, that case brought up the question of whether or not Valve or Blizzard even own the rights to Dota. And that case was settled out of court in 2018. Now when it comes to money, Ubisoft is asking for 150 grand per example of copyright infringement, plus the standard paying of legal fees. And considering there are allegedly a shit ton of examples of copyright infringement, Ubisoft could be looking at a pretty big payout. But there's also a bit of a good news, bad news situation happening here. The good news is, after Ubisoft filed the lawsuit, Ejoy removed Area F2 from both storefronts and took it offline. Right now, you can't play it. The bad news is, if you're Ubisoft, is that Ejoy released a statement saying that the game was taken offline to, quote, carry out improvements in order to deliver a better experience to players, end quote. Now, the statement doesn't mention the lawsuit, so what does carry out improvements actually mean? Well, in an interview with GameDaily.biz, lawyer Richard Hoag says that, quote, in this case, there's no real reason to mention the lawsuit, because anyone that wants to know about that already does because you want to be careful not to admit to any wrongdoing as you take this action that looks like, for all of the world, like you did something wrong. So, without fighting the legalities here, Ejoy basically says, you know what, we wanted to make some changes anyway, end quote. Yeah, so basically, expect to see Area F2 back in action sometime soon, just hopefully looking a lot less like Rainbow Six Siege. Did you guys ever have any favorite, like, blatant ripoff uh, ripoffs of popular games that you played as a kid or even now like i've talked about this before but there was a twisted metal ripoff called road trip that i i think was like way more fun let's go buster the, ocean. the other one it's not a ripoff remember that kanye west like coca-cola game that came out a while ago absolutely not i'm not telling me it was not a kanye west game it was you just literally made it up. I did not make it up. Sorry, dog. Please. <laughs> I'll find it. Don't worry.